Started from a DM, now she wanna see him. If you wanna link, baby, gotta be the weekend. Just follow me. Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel and welcome to part 29 <laughs> of Love on the Brain. And here we are on another holiday, but this holiday is kind of significant to this challenge, this let's play. It is Remembrance Day and I did it on the first day of summer. Ooh, we need to clean up plates. Uh, hold on, pause. I saw you speckles. We not doing it today. I'm not dealing with you. We gonna put it up until the rest of the family wakes up. I don't have time for you to be playing games. <laughs> um, it is a day to remember kind of the past heirs of this challenge. So it's basically at this point just the founder and um, Kyra's dad, even though she hates him. Um, wow, we need to really, this, <laughs> it's really distracting me. Let's move that to the garbage. Thank you. But everyone else is kind of sleeping in because they had a busy day yesterday. Um, Kyra was off and she actually took over little Isla and they had a, a mini play date because Naya invited her to come over and she brought Isla over. And she kind of just hung out with the family while Marcel was at work. Oh, Marcel is up. Thank you for finally getting up, sir. Um, come and actually, no, come back upstairs. <laughs> You have they they're having a lovely black and white party later, so I need to kind of start getting everybody ready for that event. And it's actually kind of early in the afternoon because I actually want to go to the Banks family mausoleum so that we can take a look at all the past ones again. Because we went when we moved uh, Camden's urn and all that stuff to that area but we didn't really oh but we really didn't get to see because it was a winter time so now that it is summer it should be looking nice and lovely in there grab a serving of that sir all right ma'am you are done you are you could go take a quick tinkle before we go wake up our lovely toddler because what will she need for the day she needs a potty and food food is not a problem food has been made but we do need to start cooking up stuff for the party which starts in like i think three hours so we kind of need to get everybody up and at them so come up here and let's wake up our lovely child um and we're not tucking in definitely not <laughs> wake her up time to get up pudding and we will um potty train her i mean she can go by herself now but i mean if we just help her get all the way to three I know for a fact she will always go by herself and I shouldn't have to worry about diaper changes anymore. At least for the most part, unless we're like out somewhere where she can't um, go to a posse. Oh, yes. All right, are you up, ma'am? You had a good sleep? Okay, let's go ahead and potty train her. Marcel, you got yourself something to eat. All right, everyone's good. Okay, I need you, sir, to probably actually grill up some food once you are done with, I have no idea what that win was for Kyra that just got away, Cloud's gaze with her. I mean, it's a cloudy day though here. So um, actually grill up some grilled fruit since it is summer. It is day one of 14 of summer. It is today's forecast is partly cloudy and it's currently warm and partly cloudy. So, I mean, it's partly cloudy, but it still looks kind of bright outside to me. All right. Are we getting... Okay, we got, got her potty training. Oh, I think she's almost to three. Yes, she is. Oh, my goodness. Okay, we need to work on her thinking, though. Her thinking is not very high. Ooh, let it out, sweetie. Let it out. You sound like you <laughs> struggling. Come on, Kyrie. You're not going to let, you know, mentor her. you just going to stand there and watch her do this. Thank you. There we go. <laughs> All right, Marcel. Okay, went out here and cooked. Perfect. Okay, and then I want you, Kyra, to give... Um, actually have Mr. Marcel do it because I actually need you to start cooking because we got work to do. Um, give food to Isla. Let's give her some cereal 
and then Miss Kyra come down here and let's cook up a grand meal. Mm, let's do ham. We'll do a ham dinner and then we'll do some other stuff around. All right. What are you doing? Why are you guys still talking to her? You're downstairs. Okay, you're going to get to her. Where is she? Okay, she's good. Ooh, we need to empty that potty chair. All right, give her her food. She will probably get a bath later on today, maybe after the party, because I don't know if we'll have time to do all of that. So much stuff. I told myself to probably cook some stuff yesterday so that we'll be ready to go, but uh, I did not. And <laughs> it's gonna be a struggle. Because if it was just them two, we would've been okay. But taking care of a toddler, she's a cute, 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 cute lover. But <laughs> it's a lot to do. Are you done, ma'am? Okay, Marcel, there we go. Okay, you are good. Clean this up. Who no, not the table. <laughs> Clean up. Where did you put that grilled fruit you put? Okay, you put it there. Um, Let's clean up the toys. Um, clean up toys. Yeah, let's try to get this house in order, please, sir. Um, I don't think I really set any holiday decorations for this day because it's mainly I really just want my Sims to be remembering this day. I mean, of course, other Sims of this world can remember whoever they want to. But my Sims are remembering, you know, the heirs. Kyra will eventually be one of the Sims that will be remembered in future generations. Okay, I'm really upset that you... Oh, wait. We probably should put that away before Speckles gets into that. What time does this party start? Starts at 2 p.m. I don't remember getting the hour notification. I planned this, like, way ahead. So, I don't even remember <laughs> if I got the entire family to be able to invite it to this. Oh, we're talking to her. That's cute. But focus on task at hand. <laughs> uh, oh, Black and White Bash is about to begin. Are you ready to start? This will end any currently running events. Let's start. Okay, let this child out, please. <laughs> let out. Oh, we hired a mythologist. Okay, I didn't know. See, I planned this so long ago. I should have just not done that because I knew I was going to forget everything that I did for this party. Okay. Okay, so let's go to Danny. Yeah. And that is not the outfit I chose for you. So that means I'm not. Oh, and that is not it either. Okay, so I'm going to change up everybody's outfits because y'all are so disrespectful. What is this? Oh, I don't remember which outfit it is. I think it's that one. Maybe wrong. And Kyra, that is definitely not it for you, Puddin. Uh, can we okay so that's the wrong outfit for you <laughs> let's change outfit oh I'm about to change the outfit that means everybody is not coming in outfits that I put them in Ugh. I might have to go through and change everybody's outfit that's gonna take a second all right guys so we are back after that long process I had to let everybody load in and then it was so disrespectful I went through and made sure everybody has some black and white inspired outfits and y'all still <laughs> had them just come in whatever. I was so mad. I went through every household that was invited to this party and made sure they had black and white outfits. And none of them showed up in any of it. Oh, everybody seems to be happy with our guests. Let's clean this up. What's up? It is kind of warm. We Oh, I didn't realize we still had that on. Let's turn that off. 
Okay, get it, Isla. Get it. Get it. Get it, girl. Oh, everybody's dancing. Oh, this is... So See, everybody... Okay, I missed some... Oh, I, I forgot I invited... Oh, you're the mixologist. Okay, never mind. I think I may have invited her friends, but no, it should be only family. Okay, right. There we go. Mixologist, that's you. Whatever. Right? Okay, there we go. Uh, we need to actually interact with our guests. So, talk to me. Um, let's talk to Isaiah. Um, thank him for coming because we hardly ever talk to him. We talk to his sister all the time. And there is his son. His wife was the one that was over there. There she is. Oh, this is so cute. Mom over there. I did give G a little bit of a of a more a more elderly make makeover. Where are we going? Okay, we're gonna chat over here. Okay, that's cool. All right, and then talk to his wife. His son, I think. Yeah, I showed you his son. Um, Ezra is... There he is. This is Mr. Ezra, who is aged up to a child now. He was a toddler the last time you guys saw him. And this is Isaiah. This is Nia's daughter. You've seen her before. Um, her Nia's son is over there. Get it, Nia. Go ahead. Her husband's over there. Look at the entire family. Get it? Here's Kai over here. Um, so Ezra aged up with the trait of mean. And I'm kind of thinking I'm going to leave it like that. And that because their child is mean, <laughs> they decided not to have any more kids. Because I was tempted to give them another because I even moved out... Um, Britney's sisters that was living in the household with them and gave them their own house and everything because they're all adults now. Where, by the way, where is Britney? I just thought about that. I know I saw her here. I gave Britney a bit of a makeover. Hold on. Okay. Oh, there she is out here. <laughs> I was like, I know I saw Britney. I gave Britney a little bit of a makeover because she's older now. She's an adult as well, along with Kai. So they look a little bit well, Kai, I didn't really change him up a little bit <laughs> much. I think I may have changed up his beard. Oh, they're out here eating already. So, um, Kyra, let's come out here. Ooh. <laughs> Jumped me in. Yeah, everybody's coming to eat anyway. Let's go ahead and just call everybody to a meal. Oh, no, my game is lagging. Pause. <laughs> call to grand meal, please, so we can get some stuff done. And I didn't even tell you guys of the traditions of this holiday, but we actually celebrated this holiday before when Kyra was in her apartment. So it's, of course, a grand meal. Invite Yoo guests, um, remembrance, and tell stories, and then thankful spirit. But Kyra ignores that because she's materialistic, which I don't understand, but okay. Because, I mean, thankful doesn't necessarily mean you have to be thankful for anything. You can be thankful for family members and all that stuff. Oh, look, everybody's out here grabbing some food. Eat up, everyone. And then, oh, right, I didn't tell you. Ezekiel is um, Isaiah's son's name. Um, Drake, you're not coming out here to eat, bro? Everybody's grabbed some food. Brittany, you had food already, sweetie, but do you, boo-boo? All right, everybody grab some food. Um, go ahead, Cashmere. You know you want to grab you some of them drinks over there. You like to drink. <laughs> Where is my toddler? Did she grab her a plate? Oh, she did. Oh, but you want a grand meal, sweetie. Why you, why you grabbing sweet? Come here and grab you a grand meal of some ham, even though I don't think that's the best option for you either. Why can't, can I grab... Hold on, really though. Why can't she grab? Because I know toddlers can eat. Can she not? Oh, there's no more. Dang. <laughs> well, I guess you're going to have to eat that pudding. <laughs> but that's the only tradition she loves. Oh. Come and grab you some sausage. <laughs> Real fruit. Grab you some grilled fruit. Eat that instead of some almond macaroons. Oh my gosh. I can't believe they tore up that ham. That means it was good. Oh wait. No. Kyrie didn't finish hers. Come and get some. 
Oh, I wanted you to kind of complete your tradition, though, because you're not going to complete it with that. <laughs> oh, my goodness. But, oh, Ernest, we need to have a pool party. I did download a pool party mod, and I have been using it, so I definitely want to go ahead and do that. I feel like it's getting late, but it's just because it's so cloudy. Um, Yeah, let's order some drink. Um, Order drink. Order your favorite drink, because y'all just staring at each other. I know y'all in love and stuff and freshly engaged and all that good stuff, but can you, like, not be creepy and stare at each other like that? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Okay, what did you need, Marcel? You could actually come and talk to your future mother-in-law. Um, uh, do an impression with her. You know, get to know her. You actually kind of need to enthuse about interest and talk to Isaiah. I don't know if you know. Right, you don't know him. You don't know this cousin. I think he's the only one that you don't know. And that's because Kyra's not, like I said, not that close with him. So she needs to actually kind of invite him more to family events. Oh, look at this. This house is super busy with the family all around. Aw. Uh, I wish he wasn't mean because he'd probably be really sweet with um, Isla. But he might still be sweet with her. He might only be mean to certain people. <laughs> we will see what happens. Ooh, Okay. Oh, um, Jet is being a good big brother to, um, Brianna. I, I'm trying to remember their names. <laughs> he actually came in holding her, which was super cute. Oh, the party's almost over. Okay, Kyra's going ahead cleaning up, even though she's feeling uncomfortable from the alcohol. Oh, look at myself. Look, look, this was, uh, uh, talk to, you okay there, Brittany? <laughs> talk about cooking. <laughs> you feeling okay? You might be a little food drunk right now because I think you had two servings of the grand meal <laughs> oh what everybody got so quiet out here <laughs> oh this is a nice little simple celebration with the entire family here this is basically Kyra's family at least all that is living right here in this one household right here love it this is awesome oh look at the, the cousins all the, uh, I love all the family dynamics of this. Um, okay. Yeah, okay. I was about to say, please don't do nothing funny. Uh, hug your child. You haven't really hugged her lovingly. You haven't really hugged her that much or talked to her, really, since the party started. Oh, look at this, everybody. I'm just enjoying watching this entire family right here. I think with the help of seasons, it helped this get like this. I try to have family moments like this during Candom's, um generation, but it wasn't as easy. And then the family, funny thing is the family wasn't even that big. So I don't know, it wasn't as easy to invite people over because you didn't have seasons to really invite them over for different holidays. I would only come up with Christmas or Thanksgiving on my own. And everybody's kind of dipping out, which is cool. Oh, they're being cute. Um, what is this? Oh, sorry to bother you, but I've heard what a great person you are. Would you be interested in making a generous donation to a charity? Sure, why not? I'll remember and stay. I'll go all out. Oh, this is cute. Um, but I think we're going to go ahead and take... How is Isla doing, though? Is she... Oh, no, she's good. We just need to take her to the potty real quick. And then I think we will head over to the mausoleum to see everyone else um potty train her real quick and then we will head over i think i'm gonna go ahead and just meet you guys there since we've already had a potty training session for the day <laughs> oh they're so cute so yeah i'll meet you guys at the mausoleum all right guys so here we are at the mausoleum and it's you can see it a little bit better now now that it's in the warm season girl is super flirty, flirty off of that juice let's see does anybody need strengthening um, let's mourn Zara since <laughs> is so cute. Mourn Zara because you probably won't be able to mourn your father. Cause let's see. Oh, you can now. And you, honestly, you've been missing him lately. Well, not missing him, thinking about him lately. So I feel like you're probably ready to mourn him now. 
Oh, look at <laughs> Marcel is over there talking to Isla. Super cute. Ooh, I'm really liking how this mausoleum turned out because when I built it, it was winter and it snow was everywhere, so I couldn't really see everything. <laughs> okay, nice. Okay, uh, Marcel, I know you didn't really know any. Oh, you need to pay. I didn't realize that <laughs> when we left the house. I thought everyone was good to go, and I don't know if there's a bathroom nearby, public one in this area. Oh, hold on. Because <laughs> you're like red with having to use the bathroom. Okay, no, there's a stall there. We're in trouble. <laughs> I didn't think about that. We gonna have a problem. I might have to send you home with the toddler. Oh, that is... I wanted him to be here to enjoy it. Uh, you gonna practice singing? But you know what you guys can do? Uh, <laughs> she's so cute. Uh, sing together, Maisie. Giovanni Banks. Oh, his ghost is nearby. Okay. Um, you know what? Why not? It's Remembrance Day. We'll sing it all together. <laughs> he must have been just past. He must already came out of his grave, cause he is. That's Keon. There's Giovanni's. Isla, no, not here, Puddin. Oh, this is cute. With the child making a mess in the background. Oh yeah, she's tired. I'm gonna send Marcel home with Isla. Oh, this is cute, but where's Giovanni though? I mean, it's cool. Oh, this is cute. <laughs> I'm trying to enjoy it, but all I can hear is it's like rah, rah, rah. <laughs> Creep out. Creep out. Okay, go ahead, Marcel. He's not like the bomb, but I didn't expect it out of him. Okay, Kyra, you got a little bit of your dad's singing skill. Just a little bit. You really didn't get into it as much as... Okay, can someone reprimand the child making a complete mess in the background? Toddler care. No, it's under parenting. I'm sorry. Discipline recent behavior. Firm. Tell not to make a mess. Are you... Yeah, you can't put her... You just gonna check on her? No, you gotta tell her not to make a mess here. That is a no. Like, we don't do that... Oh, crap. That scared me. Oh, it's Camden. Okay, yeah, Marcel. You know what I need for you to do, sir? Stop doing the sit-ups. <laughs> Pick up your child and go home. <laughs> Lord, I did not expect that. You know what? Yeah, pick her up and go home. And Kyra, come and talk to your dad. Share Remembrance Day spirit. You are super dazed. What a way to greet your dad, but it's okay. I know you guys still don't like each other. It is what it is. Like, I'm only talking to you because it's Remembrance Day. I low-key give fake bad news. I low-key want her to fight. She's dazed. I kind of want her to just do it all. Just have fun with it. Fight. No, ma'am. Oh, we didn't even... What it says. Oh, you need to pee too. Ask about being dead. Come here. Like, come on. Camden. <laughs> you should sound better than that, sir. Or maybe because you're a ghost. Oh! I didn't realize you were still fighting. Why didn't you take the child home? Go home! No, no, no. What are you doing, sir? Absolutely, I cannot. Like, <laughs> her daughter should not be seeing this. What are you doing? Pick her up and go home, Marcel. Pick her up and go home. Please go home. 
Oh, and then she, I mean, she is dazed. Self-deprecating joke. Okay, yeah, you're gonna leave it alone. You just got beat up by your dead dad. <laughs> so, uh, what a remembrance day. We had such a good time earlier and just went to puts because you were drunk and now that fight is sobering you up real quick. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's head on a home. But guys, I think I am going to end this lovely part of Love on the Brain right here. I don't think I expected this lovely day to end like this, but it did. <laughs> if you enjoyed this part of Love on the Brain, please go ahead and leave your comments and suggestions down below. Hit that like button because you know you want to. Subscribe if you haven't. And hit that bell button so you get notified every time I upload a video. And until next time, guys, bye. Girl, you bruised. You might need to call out of work tomorrow. <laughs>